Ah, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today's Sunday. I wasn't going to make a movie today because I made one yesterday, but we had such a beautiful sunrise that I thought I'd share it with you. But while I was at it, I thought I'd give you a quick update on how my public artworks are coming along. I'm going to go over the other place and drive around the main road on the, and have a look around the boundary, make sure no cattle are out. And while I'm over there, I'm going to put the drone up and have a fly around and just have a quick look. I don't want to drive on the paddock unnecessarily at the moment because it's extremely wet. If I had to go in there, I could, but I got the drone, so why drive on it if I don't have to? Anyway, without further ado, we'll get right into it. I got a couple of artist impressions up here on the wall that I've just got off the internet to give me a bit of inspiration and help me from going too far away from the anatomical details of the fish. Although it is art and I ultimately decide what's what, it still needs to be recognisable. Here I'm just shaping some of the segments for the mock-up. And once I get this mock-up pretty well how I want it, then I'll actually start the proper sculpture. So here I've got the lines of the head of the fish. The rest of it I don't need lines, I can do it without. And I can see everywhere where I need to bend and what shape it needs to be. This isn't quite right, I need to adjust it a bit. I can look at it from different angles and see what I'm happy with and what I'm not. And it's cheaper to change this than it is to muck around with stainless steel and have to change that. I built this fella about three years ago. It's not a particular type of fish, it's just out of my imagination. But I kept it because I like it. Well, we've driven down the other boundary and that was right. There was no problems, none out, nothing wrong as far as we could see. We're just driving down the, uh, what is it, what would it be, the most southwestern boundary. Not having a look at that. Everything looks okay so far, but I will put the drone up and have a proper look. I couldn't believe it this morning when I got up because last night I looked at the weather report and the rain report for yesterday was 60% and it was 80% today. We woke up, it was a beautiful morning, clear, but there's clouds starting to come back in now we've come home and I'm not real sure what's going to happen. We've just pulled up here at the boundary and I'm going to get out and get me drone out and put it up and have a good look. Well here we are, we're having a look and you can see there's plenty of water in the dams, everything's alright that way. This drone I'm using is a DJI Mavic Zoom, which means you can zoom in. And you'll notice that you can see the cows, but you can't sort of really see what they're up to or individual cows. And this is at about 70 metres of height. But the zoom function on this drone allows you to have a really good look. You can see here the cattle are on the move. I don't know why. It's not because of the drone. The water, where they access it, they've got to go down that way. Maybe they're going down for a drink. But they seem to be trotting pretty well. I'm not sure why they're in such a hurry to go down there. One thing's for sure, nothing's chasing them. You can see now they've steadied up. Unless they heard the drone and thought we were coming and thought they were going to get a feed or something. Maybe that was it. Anyway, they've steadied up now, they're just walking down, no problem. Here I'm just flying over the creek where we normally drive through. You can see the track there, it'll be as greasy as all get out at the moment. And just over here, there is a place when it really gets wet. Yeah, you can see it here now. That, what looks like a dam is actually just water builds up there and it runs out down that drain I don't know if you can see the drain and pours into the creek when that's got water in it like that and overflowing it's really been very wet up there in the right hand corner of your screen you can actually see the cattle yards and you notice how green it is in there from all the manure and the rain all of that green country there right up until that line of trees is ours and then there's the road 
I'm just going to fly over that and have a quick look and see if there's any cattle in there. And to the left, that other paddock is one of our hay paddocks, so we'll check that out and make sure none of the cattle have got into the hay paddock. Everything certainly looks a picture with all the rain and over here the hay paddock's nice and green and got plenty of growth. We just need some dry weather to harvest the hay, that's about all. That pattern that you can see in this closest paddock is because I harvested that piece last where it's really green and there's a few weeks in between when I couldn't get on it. Consequently it's grown greener because it hasn't got the dried grass on top. Those buildings on the right hand top corner are the neighbours, that's not our buildings. We'll go for a fly in the timber now and see if we can see how the cows are going. You can see, I'm just starting to zoom in, and you can probably see a lot more detail once I do zoom in. You'll be able to actually see that the cows are up and on their feet and they're all alive and all okay. Again, there's a few more cattle here, but you can only just see that they're cattle. You can't really see what they're up to. But once you zoom in, you can identify them. This is at about 70 metres of height. So obviously, if I drop down to 20 metres, I can actually identify individual cows and recognise who they are. This spot I'm coming up to now is one of our major water points in the creek. We'll just check that that's okay and yeah there's no problems, no dead animals in it or anything stupid like that. Well the battery in the drone's getting down a bit. It's been up 20 minutes so that'll be enough for today. I've had a reasonable look around and I'm fairly confident everything's right. So that does a lot less damage to the country than driving around a four wheel drive. We were parked right in under the trees and I had to zigzag and fly in and out the trees to get in here. 
you couldn't go straight up. A very, very tight place to get in. But it just shows you once you get a little bit confident and take your time, you can get into some really tight spots. I'm just trying to see exactly how I'm going to miss the trees. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.